guess what is going to come out? A python? A snake? No? It's a Komodo? What? Dragon? Komodo dragon? No, no. Dragon? Komodos are... Uh, Komodos have fins. Have you ever heard of the Komodo dragon? Yeah. Yes! Good! This is not a Komodo dragon. Knew it! <laughs> but I'm really glad you heard of him. This is a cousin of the Komodo dragon. Did you watch Jesse when it was yes. on TV? Yes, yes. Okay. So, what Mr. is the Kipling. name of the lizard on Jesse? Everybody? Mr. Kipling. Mrs. Kipling, right. Mr. Now, what kind of lizard was it? <laughs> yes. Very good, yes. A water monitor? That's what this is. This is not, this is not uh, Mrs. Kipling, but this is an Asian water monitor. It's the same kind of animal, but a different individual. When you look at a monitor, one of the first things people notice is the tongue is always going, a lot like a snake's. What is she doing with the tongue? Yes. Smelling. Correct. She smells with the tongue. Hi. <laughs> Did you want something? <laughs> Did you like? Can you just in my face? <laughs> <laughs> They smell with their tongue, and they believe what they smell more than what they see. So, let's say I'm having lunch. I'm having some chicken. I don't, I, I wash my hands, but I forget to wash my face. Got a little bit of chicken on my lips. When I pick her up, she smells chicken on my face. Now, if she was a dog, she would just lick my face because the dog understands that there's chicken smeared on you. Ooh, let me come and get that. She doesn't understand that. If it smells like food, it is food. So I'm gonna get my face bit because she thinks it's a piece of chicken. So these animals you have to be very careful with because they believe what they smell. Their sense of smell is so good, they ignore what they see in favor of what they smell. So she's sniffing my shampoo right now, and she knows what the inside of my left ear smells like. And she's stuck her tongue in my nose, in my ear, it's gone in my mouth. She's drawn my blood multiple times with her, with her, with her claws, so she knows a lot about me. And that's good, because that means she won't get confused, and she won't get upset. But I still have to be careful that I don't smell like anything she wants to eat. She was somebody's pet. Now, most people, when they keep a pet, they keep it in a cage. The people who owned her didn't want to do that. They wanted her to run around the house like a dog. But she doesn't understand the rules of a dog. Don't we look cute? She doesn't understand the rules of a dog. She rips up the carpet and she pulled down the curtains. But they loved her. They came home one day and she climbed up on top of the refrigerator and gone to the bathroom. Now you think, well, dogs and cats have accidents, a couple of poops, clean it up. No. When this animal goes to the bathroom, it's a poop explosion. Oh my You come in the room and it looks like a chocolate sauce bomb has gone off. And you can believe me, it doesn't smell like chocolate sauce. <laughs> but they loved her. Uh, what? They came home another time and she had gone behind the bookcase and she got stuck between the wall and the bookcase. Before they could take the books out to help her, oh, she solved the problem herself. She pushed on the wall and knocked the bookcase over. <laughs> the bookcase fell forward, landing on a desk, breaking the desk and flipping their computer into the air. <laughs> the computer flew through the air and through the nearby closed window, smashing the window into a million pieces and falling out two stories to land on their car, <laughs> which just happened to be parked in the driveway below. 
In six seconds, she broke a bookcase, a desk, a computer, a window, and a car. Wow. If you did that, you might wake up tomorrow morning in the orphanage. They loved her. What? The last time, they came home, and she was gone. She had vanished. Now, she had kind of vanished when she was on top of the refrigerator, and she had kind of vanished when she was behind the bookcase. It was just a matter of finding where she was. So they figured, okay, another hiding spot, got to look for. Six hours later, they still hadn't figured out where she was. They knew she couldn't get out. She couldn't open a doorknob, and the windows weren't broken. So they knew she was in the house, but where? They decided, forget it, we're going to bed. In the morning, she gets hungry, shook him out. <laughs> But they never made it to bed, because that's where she was. When they looked at the bed, the bed looked perfectly normal. No lumps, no bumps. But when they pulled the covers down, then they found a hole right through the mattress, right into the box spring of the bed. It looked like Bugs Bunny had moved in. She crawled between the sheets and used her powerful claws to dig right into the box spring of the bed. She really was in the bed. <laughs> Only in a way no one had ever imagined was possible before. And that was too much. They, at the time, sent me a picture email and said, Bill, will you please take her? We can't do this anymore. They loved her, but it was too much. So I took her. I thought she was beautiful. I named her Elizard Beth. <laughs> yes, Elizard Beth. We just call her Lizzie, usually, for sure. Okay, questions? Yes. Yep. <coughs> this guy here, yeah, yeah. How do they live? I don't understand the question, I'm sorry. How does that kind of animal live that you're holding? When you say, how does it live, I don't know what you mean. You can't keep saying the same thing over and over again. That doesn't help me much. What does it eat? Where does it live? How does it catch its food? What are we, what are we talking about? Sorry, I don't know. When you say how it lives, it lives in the rainforest, okay, in Asia, okay, and they eat all kinds of different animals. They hunt their predators. They they hunt like the like the, the alligator does, all right. They hunt on land and in the water. They climb trees. They dig holes. The only thing they can't do is fly. I'm not sure if I answered your question, though, to be honest with you. Yes, the other lady in the purple. What do they eat? Well, in the wild, they eat bugs and little animals like mice and snakes and lizards and birds and eggs and dead animals. One of their favorite things in the world are dead animals. If a leopard or a tiger kills an antelope and they don't eat it all, oh, they love coming and finding something that's dead and stinking and full of flies. Oh, they love that. That's their favorite. Yeah. I feed her dead mice and dead rats. But her favorite foods are hard-boiled eggs and buffalo wings. <laughs> Over there in the corner, yes, the guy in the blue. How many? How long does it live? How many years does it live? About 20, 25. The young lady next to you. She lives in a cage. She lives in a cage. When she was very young, she broke her hips. Yeah. And the operation that she would have needed would have been impossible to do with a lizard. So she doesn't walk very well. Yeah. So she doesn't really need a giant cage because she can't walk very well anyway. Yes? Uh, what is its predator? What is its predator? Tigers, leopards, big pythons, crocodiles. Good question. In the hat. Does the lizard say it again? Did the lizard rip the carpet? No, I don't let her run around the house. I let her run around the house. 
This one, no. This one, yes. And if she rips the carpet, she's in big trouble. Yes. Um, oh. Yeah. Um, what happens if she licks you? Ooh. I get a little wet. <laughs> no big deal. Like I told you, she stuck that tongue in all sorts of places. It's not supposed to go. No. Well, technically, she is a venomous animal. Okay, technically, about half the lizards on Earth now actually carry a venom. No. But the venom is not like snake venom. It's not meant to kill. Excuse me. I can't talk with you with my nose. It's not meant to kill, okay? It's meant to cause pain. So, yes, if she bites you, it hurts. It feels like someone poured gasoline on your hand and lit it. I know from experience, it's not a fun afternoon. So, yes, technically it's a venomous animal, but not like a venomous snake. Oh.